What do you think? Cool. What's up, collectors and pop culture fanatics? We are here outside of the Daycare Kids Comics, Toys, and Collectibles in Arkansas. I'm not exactly sure uh, what town or city this is, but don't let the outside fool you. It's a little, uh, not, not rinky-dink, it's not the right word. It's just kind of in the middle of nowhere, really. But this place is one of the absolute best toy shops that I've ever been to. I know Heather absolutely loves this place. I think it's her favorite. Um, so let's go check this out. All right. It's a little darker in here. I should have brought my light with me. So there's so much just everywhere hanging from the ceilings. There's a life-size jar jar over there. There's a bunch of comics and just speeder scout up here. So much. So there's a huge wall full of vintage stuff here. And there's uh, newer and older 90s, 2000s stuff hanging from the ceiling. Comics all through the middle here. So, um, honestly, this place I don't even know where to I don't even know where to start in here, babe. I don't even know where to start in here. No, you don't have to film. I just don't know where to go. <clears throat> Puppet master, little bender. So this is something I looked at before. He's got these panels here that are full of uh, like little action figure stands and bits and pieces for all kinds of different figures. The Sigma and the Sea Monster. Heather got one of those uh, last time we were here, but it was a, a boxed one. So the true test is to find out if he actually has any Mythic Legion stuff because that seems to be a rarity and not a lot of people end up having it. And I do see some... Uh, Ver oh, I don't know if you can see that. That's sick. What's going on over here? Are they having a party? Look at that. Right? There he goes. We're here for moral support. <laughs> moral support. They're uh, court ordered. They got to be here with me. <laughs> McFarland Titan Joker looks really cool. He always tickles me when they come in here and do these podcasts and stuff. They don't even look at the good stuff. Really? Yeah, because it's not out on display. Uh, oh, I'll get there. So <clears throat> the true test to seeing what you guys have since the last time I was here, I got into Mythic Legions. Do you, you got into what? Mythic Legions. Do you have anything to do with Mythic Legions? Well, to be honest with you, that's too new for us. Too new? Well, you got Black Series. No, it's still sold in stores. You can still go out and buy it. Uh, Mythic Legions, they're really hard to find. You can get... Oh, dude, I'm telling you. That's why they're hard... That's why they're hard to find because yeah, you can't you can't keep them. <laughs> and a couple of helmets back here; those are cool. Okay, I want to see something. You over tell here. me. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> Ewok Village is cool. There's your Jar Jar, literally like eight foot tall, insane. Okay, so it seems like. We're not going to have any Mythic Legions, unfortunately. That sucks. One of the cool things about this place, though, is um, they have a Watto that they hide. And if you find him, you get Waldo. What did I say? Watto? Yeah. Star Wars on the brain. They have a Waldo. And if you find it, you get a, what, 10% off your purchase? Is that right? I don't remember. I think it's 10. 
Oh, well, I'm sure he does. A little dark in this corner, but you've got the Falcon hanging from the top. Some Star Wars stuff through here. Sorry it's so dark in here, guys. I, well, if I would have thought about it, I would have. I really should have brought my uh, light with me. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> Holy moly. A latex gremlin. Gigantic chewy. Um, I do have some stuff in the car that I'm going to bring in here. God, that is sick. Look at that. Clone tank. Holy shit balls. That thing is huge. It's my, my hand next to it. <clears throat> Not exactly sure what he's from. I think it's Mass Effect, maybe. I don't know. Don't quote me on that, but I think. Jigsaw over there. That looks cool. And those giant uh, latex demon dog from uh, Ghostbusters, I believe. More comics. <clears throat> I forgot they dealt so heavy in comics. I should have... Uh, should have brought mine with me. Oh my god, there's so much. There's always so much to look at in here that it's really hard to kind of get everything. There's a 12-inch Hasbro Kiati Mundi there. It's got these uh, Black Series. There's a uh, Koska Deluxe Boba from the Boba Fett series. Some more right here. Well, this is something that I would be interested in, the Sleepy Hollow. Uh, actually, maybe not. It's very dark. Um, I don't think that would be to scale for Mythics, so probably not. But let's see what we got over here. Some G.I. Joe's Christmas edition stuff. Very cool. Some Transformers, tiny little Transformers, and all kinds of stuff through here. <clears throat> Aiden, what are you doing? What do you think about it? Say something. Say hi. 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 <laughs> Woody, look at that. Oh my god, it's like the old Woody. Yeah. <clears throat> There's a Venom on the wall back there. I think I asked a price on that last time. He was like, ah, it's not for sale. I guess everything's for sale for the right price, though. Goodness. See... So the craziest part about like all these loose figures, oh, there's a Bosque. I should buy the Bosque. I don't think I have. I wonder how much he is. 40? Well, it doesn't have a blaster. I wouldn't pay 40, honestly. <clears throat> Got all the vintage, boxed vintage in here. At all that. Oh, wait a minute. What is that? I'll worry about nothing else. <laughs> I bet, yeah. How much is the Salacious Crumb in there? Salacious Crumb is $600, and it's an original from the debut of Star Wars at the Epcot Center. I'll give you a 27 Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Hey, come here, baby. Oh, my God. And all these uh, loose figures. Goes all the way down. It's crazy. Go back there and take a picture of the Trick or Treat bucket. That was It's really difficult. So, I've got to try and find the uh, Waldo. That's sick. That is so cool. There's a little Mezco back there. A little Batman. And I also have the tax. I really like that. That's cool. That's probably why I said Wado earlier, because I passed her. Yeah, Wado, because I passed right by him. So, probably going to watch this video back later and be like, oh, there's the... Uh... This is cool. Pink Ranger. There's a uh, Sam. That's neat. Oh, look at this. Oh. I know, I saw that dad, one too, yeah. My dad would flip out about that. The uh, Popeye? Oh, my dad's a huge Popeye collector. I don't know that we've ever talked about that. I don't think so, no. He's a big Popeye collector. 
Popeye and Elvis. I, see it. I like the Teddy Ruxpin up there. That's my. I used to have a Teddy Ruxpin. You put a tape in the back of it. I'd listen to it every night. It's so neat. This is a bunch of loose stuff. It looks like a whole big bunch of mixed. <clears throat> so I actually really, really like the uh, the do back, and I've thought about getting one before. But look at that. I don't know if I really want to. There's a Han on Tauntaun. That's a Han on a Tauntaun. A <laughs> uh, hundred for that. Hundred for each speeder bike, and one fifty on the do back. <clears throat> All the vintage collectors, I'm sure, will absolutely love this area. There's so much. Oh, what is that? It's like one of the monsters. That's so cool. Oh, there's a rhino back there. So I'm going to go look at some of these comics. Lady Death. Couple of lightsabers laying around. ATST. It's only forty bucks for the ATST. It's not bad. Two warehouses full. Some more vintage stuff. It'll take like two weeks to ship it off to the warehouse. Jeez, dude, so much in here. <clears throat> it's crazy. Yeah, I had the exposed buttons. Uh, there wasn't no cover over the button block. Sorry. <laughs> and the, the packs was real crude. Yeah, we've got a few of those. Not as many as I've got in the 63. 63, I've got some grades up top. But I was told that these things were the real line. That uh, <laughs> scorpion back there is cool. His little Groot. You see the Groot? I am Groot. <clears throat> What'd you find? I remember when I was a kid, mom would let me go through these, and I had both of these. That's cool. It used to be like four bucks. This one was a dollar. But my mom would take me to the store, and I could like browse through these and pick which ones I wanted. I remember I had those two. That's cool. I'm like filming your chin. <laughs> Sorry. This uh, Solomon Grundy up here. I need this Grundy 335. I've seen it a little bit cheaper, but that is really big. What do you think? It's cool. What do you think? Cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, first, folks. It's cool. That's neat looking. Right, I'm going to cut and look around a little bit. If I get anything, I'll uh, obviously show it at the end. But uh, we will see. Uh, there's really, it, it's it's so dark and there's so much in here that it's kind of one of those places that if you <clears throat> kind of like the way it looks, I guess you just kind of come in if you're in the area because there's just there's just way too much to to look at and i can't make i don't know like an hour-long video just in one store because it is a smaller place so everything's like kind of cram packed but there's just so much right there is where you found the uh sigmund wasn't it on the wall well that's a cool hulk not Hulk, Thor. I'm thinking about getting Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Wait, what? What? We had these last time we were here. <gasps> oh, shit, I didn't. I was going to see if he has any other Alice Madness figures. Well, are they supposed to be different sizes like that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so these are American McGee, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. That's 50. And then what's the price on that one? I can't tell. I think it's 60 though. <clears throat> we need to, uh, I'm sure he would do 100 on both. Well, let's see. Yeah, 60 on that one. 
It's not too bad. I guess I could have been doing this the whole time. Show like, yeah, that would help. So let's go back in this corner here, show you guys. Now there's going to be a little more of a glare now, but still. Bunch of masks and stuff. Look at, let's see. Some power rain. I couldn't even see in this corner. It was so dark, honestly. <clears throat> there's a Freddy up there. Completely missed that too. So, there really is some cool looking stuff. I hate that there's no mythics. Like, damn. This place has everything. I could have swore that there was a there was a good possibility of having some mythic legions in here. Do you know who Waldo is? No. Uh, he's a guy. He looks funky. He's got red and white. He wears like a red and white shirt. If you find him, let him he up looks there. No. <clears throat> and he's got a red and white shirt. Yeah. So like your dad with a red and white shirt. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Maybe. Can I have fun? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Yeah, That's my now. <laughs> now you know how I got it. You, yep. you still I call do. the daycare for a reason. <laughs> how do you feel? There's yeah. no old people in here. That's right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Once you wander around, you start going back in time remembering, hey, oh, wait a minute. Exactly. This is my wife's time machine. He's completely right. Let's see. A little robot back okay so oh there's some hacks that's the first that's like the closest thing you'll get to mythics let's see i'm going to turn this off and put it in my pocket i keep hitting my head on that how much is this 30 mm, i don't know if i want to collect hacks because they're so small and they're expensive for what they are in my opinion but they are like little mythic legion characters they're just a lot smaller I'm Batman. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, now we're definitely going to cut right now and kind of look around a little bit, see what we can find. So we just got out of the daycare, kids. Uh, collectibles and comics and things. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't pick anything up. There was a couple things we wanted, but it just wasn't uh, the right price for us. But it is a really cool shop. It just kind of sucks right now. I'm focused on very specific things. So when we went there a little over a year ago, it was um, it was really cool because they had tons of stuff that I would buy and I was interested in. But now that we're basically just focused on Hot Toys and Mythics, it's really hard to find things outside of that that I'm like, yeah, I'll just buy that because I just want it or whatever like I used to do where I would spend shit tons of money and just waste it and... Some of the things that I've sold, I haven't been able to sell for what I bought them for, so I can't keep doing that. But it is a really cool place. Definitely recommend you going if you're in the area. Um, but I guess you have anything to add? I feel like I was forgetting something. Whatever. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. Um, uh, bell notifications, subscribe, all that things. Uh, collect what you love.